This is the Surface Pro 6, the brand new 2-in-1 from Microsoft, and we're gonna cut right to the chase. We really like it. In fact, it's easily the best 2-in-1 you can buy right now. However, that's not the whole story. So here are five things you need to know, some good, some bad, before you go out and buy it. The first thing up is the new black version of the Surface Pro 6. It's the headline feature, it's the thing that Microsoft is talking about more than anything else. And even though it's just a coat of paint, we really like how it looks and also how it feels. It has that same matte finish that all the Surface Pros have always had, but it really looks and feels great and it feels like something you could take to the office just as easily as you could bring to a coffee shop or use on the bus ride home. The next thing that you need to know is that the chassis of the Surface Pro 6 is identical to the Surface Pro 5 has the exact same screen resolution, the same size and weight, the same kickstand, the same bezel size, which are a little bit bigger than we'd like. But most importantly, you're getting the same port selection as last year as well, which means you're getting a USB-A port, a mini display port, and a mini SD card reader, and that's it. And those are not the best options in 2018. In fact, this is the only device we've reviewed this year that doesn't come with a USB-C port. And that just feels a little bit backward for a device that's supposed to be premium and cutting edge. The third thing is battery life. And this is probably the most meaningful upgrade you're gonna get in the Surface Pro 6 over last year's model. You can expect around 30% more juice in each charge, and that's really impressive. In our tests, we got over 14 hours in video loop and around nine and a half hours in web browsing. And that is a full day of work and then some. And that is really the battery life that the Surface Pro has always deserved. The fourth thing that you need to know is that the tablet experience in Windows 10 still isn't great. And this is something we've been talking about for a long time, but Microsoft really hasn't made any significant moves to resolve the issue. Navigating around in the operating system still doesn't feel like it was made for touch, and the App Store doesn't have anything really meaningful that you're gonna be wanting to look for in terms of apps or games. Ultimately, this is just not an iPad, and you shouldn't rely on it solely for its tablet experience. And what makes it worse is that the awesome type cover with the keyboard and touchpad don't come bundled in, so you're gonna be spending $900 just for the tablet alone. The fifth and final thing you need to know is that you are getting a quad-core processor in the Surface Pro 6, but it's not the latest Whiskey Lake processors that Intel just announced. At this point, these processors are almost a year old but you do get the option of Core i5 or Core i7, and both are very capable. You just need to know that these aren't Intel's latest and greatest. Like we said up top, the Surface Pro 6 really is a great little device that comes highly recommended from us. It's the best two-in-one you can buy right now. As much as we wish Microsoft would have taken care of some of our issues with it, this year, all the rumors are pointing towards a brand new redesign of the device next year. So if you can wait till next fall, you might be in for a real treat. Hey, thanks for checking out this review. Do us a favor and hit subscribe so you can get more videos from digital trends like this one. And in the meantime, the question for you is, do you care about these little things like not having USB-C or the bezel size and the chassis being exactly the same? Or are you happy with the upgrades that you're getting in the Surface Pro 6 this year? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in reading the full review, head over to digitaltrends.com.